It has been more than two months and about a thousand Ukrainian fighters continue to hold on to Russian troops at the Azovstal Iron and Steelworks. The Soviet era steel plant is the last bastion of Ukrainian defenders as the city of Mariupol around them has fallen to invading forces. Against all odds, these fighters continue to resist. The sprawling compound too lies in a state of shambles as Russian planes and artillery continue to bombard it on a daily basis. The Ukrainian forces hide in the day in the maze of tunnels under the plant and then emerge the moment there is a lull in the shelling. The battle has been raging on and there is now fear that the end game could be near. While Kiev is trying to negotiate a deal with Moscow to evacuate the wounded soldiers, it is still engaging in difficult talks with Moscow to rescue its soldiers in exchange of release of Russian prisoners of war. But the family members of these Ukrainian defenders are getting desperate. They are fearing the worst and now they have made an unprecedented request to China. The family members held a press conference in the Ukrainian capital. They appeared they appeal to the Chinese president to help rescue their brothers and husbands and sons who are currently trapped in the steel plant. Ми віримо, що сильний і благородний Китай здатний приймати нелегкі рішення в ім'я блага, в ім'я цінностей, адже стоїть на сторожі цих цінностей. Ми просимо вельми шановного президента Китая Сі Цзіньпіня проявити велику любов, велику турботу про світові цінності і велику східну мудрість долучитися до порятунку захисників Маріуполя. Щоб ви розуміли, на Азовсталі немає здорових бійців. Там є тяжко поранені і середньої тяжкості поранення. Але хлопці йдуть далі до бою. Є такі люди, які отримали вже по три поранення, але далі йдуть до бою. Не воюють тільки ті, яких немає кінцівок, але і ті, які просто не можуть вже встати. Mariupol has seen the heaviest fighting in nearly three months of the war and the devastated city is now in Russian hands. But the Azov South Steelworks complex, despite weeks of heavy Russian bombardment, continues to offer resistance. On the other hand, NATO member Turkey has proposed carrying out a sea evacuation of wounded fighters holed up in the famous steelworks. So we are still working uh, on how to find uh, a ceasefire in the Mariupol area, get these injured soldiers and other civilians out of Mariupol. Uh, we uh, have had a number of plans, proposals. Uh, the first one was to get uh, the soldiers from Mariupol to Berdyansk and from the Berdyansk port through the ship from Istanbul, bring them uh, here to Turkey. That offer is still at the table. Last time when I met President Zelensky in Kiev, in fact, we discussed this issue. If it can be done that way, we, we are happy to do it. We are ready. In fact, our ship is ready to go and bring, uh, bring the soldiers, uh, injured soldiers and other civilians uh, to Turkey. Ukraine and Russia both did not immediately comment on the possibility of an evacuation by sea. Despite shortages of ammunition, food, water and medicine, Ukrainian soldiers holed up at the plant have repeatedly refused to surrender to Moscow, citing fears of being killed or tortured. But with every passing day, time is now running out as Russian troops continue to pound the steel plant. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.